Hi, I'm Tara. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a really quick and easy embossed text, and then we're going to take it to the next level. So the first thing we're going to do is pick the size of the artboard. So I'm going to pick YouTube thumbnail, but you pick whichever one suits your project best. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a text box. So you either hit text and add a text box, or you can either hit T on your keyboard. It can bring you to the same result. I'm just going to spread that out and we are going to key in the word emboss. I'm just going to make it slightly larger and I'm just going to center it. So when you hold and move your word, it will bring up the both the horizontal and the vertical axis. I'm just going to click there and we are going to change the font to a font called League Spartan. It's kind of chunky and um, it, it's quite effective with, with this effect. So with your text box selected we're going to click on effects and we're going to hit shadow and in here we just need to change a few things. The first one is going to be 20. The offset, the direction is minus 45. The blur we're going to have 25. The transparency is going to be 65 and the color is going to remain black. And then we are going to change the color of the word to a kind of light gray. So that's the first one done. And then we click on it again and we're going to duplicate it. And we're just going to make sure that it's directly on top of the one below it. And this time when we go into effects, we're just going to have 20. We're going to have this 145. The blur is going to be 25. The transparency is going to be, we're just going to bring it up to about 80. And this time we're going to have the color white. And then all you have to do is change the background to the same color as your text. And just like that, you have an embossed text. It's so easy and it's so effective. I think like, you know, it's, it's really good. So now we're going to take this basic emboss and we're going to bring it to the next level. So I'm going to put it on a background and the background I'm going to choose is like a stone background, but you could use um, you could use sand or you could use coffee or you could use um, chocolate. Like it, it doesn't really matter what the background is as long as it's um, kind of good, strong background. So as I say, the background I am going to use is a stone background and in graphics. Um, I'm going to use this one um, because it's kind of like a marbly effect. So I think it's pretty effective. So I'm just going to make it the size of full width and full height. You can also set a set image as background. Um, and then we are going to go to the previous one that we did a second ago. And we're just going to right click and copy. And we're going to right click and paste. And we're just going to remove the effect that's on it. So it goes back to just being kind of gray text. So the first thing we're going to do to this text is we're going to make the transparency about, about 35, between 35 and 40. And there we go. Okay. And we're going to make the text color light gray color. And then we're going to add an effect. And we're going to add an outline. So we just need to reduce the outline because otherwise it's too um, prominent. So we're going to make it about, about 10. And we're going to make the outline. It needs to be a different color than the one that you have selected. So it could actually be white. So you just need to make sure that you can actually see the marble or marbling effect or the stone effect through through the text. So the transparency needs to be low enough that you can actually see that. So when you're happy with it, we're going to click on share and we're going to click download. And you just need to make sure that you're on the correct page. So we are on page two. So you deselect all and then you just select two. Click on done and click on download. And we are going to call it a uh, gray emboss. Click save. So once you have it 
downloaded we're just going to click add a page and then we click on uploads upload file and we called it gray emboss and click open and once it's in we just click on it and we need to make it back to the correct size again and then we click on edit photo and you click on background remover and this is why your outline needs to be lighter than because otherwise it'll take the whole thing and um, your outline needs to be lighter than than the text color basically because otherwise you'll just have a kind of tiny little outline it won't it won't leave the majority of the um, stone effect so then we just bring it up bring it down so once you're happy with the effect, we're going to go back to the first one and we're going to do what we did to the, the original, just the plain embossed. So we're going to make the effect, the shadow, and we're going to have the offset at 20 and the direction minus 45. The blur, we're going to make 25. Transparency, we're going to make 70. And the color, we're going to make black. And then we are going to duplicate that. As I say, you need to make sure it sits directly on top of it. And that's why if you do like the center center, it's much easier than to, to put it on top. And again, this time we're going to go, the direction is 145, or 25. We're just going to make this one about 85. And this time we're going to make the color white. And then you go down to your next page. You right click on your uh, stone. And we're going to copy and we're going to paste. And then once you haven't moved it, um, it should still have the same kind of, it'll, it'll sit directly on the, the very back. Um, so, but it still just looks like it's, um, you have embossed it. So it's pretty effective, I think. Um, I don't know whether I kind of, I do like that one, but it kind of, it's obviously like, it's like you've embossed paper, whereas this is like you've embossed an actual piece of stone. If you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.